<laughs> this is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. My brother's here, my brother Darren. Yes. And I was thinking about it earlier. You're a big brother. Yes, I am. He's a big, a big brother. brother. I'm a big brother. Do you guys have any little brother stories? Because I feel like, <laughs> I uh, well, I mean, you're around all the time. So when when we were growing up, I was. Um, did you ever? You've seen Weird Science. Yeah. So you remember Chip, like kind of the real dickhead big brother. Yeah. Do you think I was like him? You, you tortured was, your brother, yeah. Both you your brothers. Or more of a nice you big left, brother. You left scars on your brothers. Really? Yeah, Up to and including earlier before this show where it was <laughs> that in the bathroom. <laughs> Did you ever do anything to your... You have a sister. Well, you, we, we, you, do you know we, your sister's birthday? Uh, December 28th. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you know his sister's birthday? <laughs> it's a steel trap. I can't think of one time I did anything like really mean except that... It, I would just like dance, and when she when a favorite song of hers would come on, I would dance, and she would cry to, to make, tell my mom to make me to stop dancing. How, <laughs> you monster! <laughs> that was the only thing I could was think it of. Tap dancing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we got listeners. Uh, like what? Like um, like Footloose? I guess something from the '80s would come on and. But if she liked that song, I would just like dance in the back seat with her until like she couldn't take it anymore. Really? That was about the Let worst I could think of. I, w I wonder if I can. Can I we get Footloose? I, <laughs> I, say, I wonder if I could manage something like that. What was an '80s song that she liked? Do you think? I just told you Footloose. I don't. I don't have fucking Footloose. So what's something else? <laughs> well, I'm not going to dance, so don't even look for it. Did you ever dance at your brother or anything? Or? No, not really. I. Uh, it's boring. But I was. I my my little brother. I was pretty good too. Like I protected him. I was like. Uh, because my older brother uh, left, he went and joined the Navy, so he wasn't around, so like I was thrust into this position of older brother on a block full of older kids, so my main concern was just making sure my little brother wouldn't get beat up, which I don't know why I worried, he never did. Did you, um, did you ever have to protect him from bullies? Yeah, one, one time, uh, this is fucked up, it's not a funny story, but uh, right, my there. uncle <laughs> fucked us both. Exactly and, what they're uh, looking no, for. I'm kidding, my <laughs> uncle didn't really fuck us both. Mm. Jeez, the molestation humor went over so well in other cities. <laughs> um, no, we were in the Boy Scouts, and, and it's like, uh, and for some reason they had like a hazing ritual, and they wanted to like, they kept throwing lit cigarettes at my brother. Right, it was fucked up. It was Wait, like, how old was he? Uh, he, uh, I don't know, he had, he had to be around 10. How the fuck right. did Cub Scouts have fucking cigarettes? Boy, yeah, Boy Scouts. <laughs> they did, it was like after... It's Staten Island, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, have you worked towards your smoking merit badge? <laughs> <laughs> Filterless if you want an extra star. <laughs> so that happened. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I got really, like, a, you know, I started screaming at the kid, and I was like, hey, you know, I got into one of those rages where I was, like, cursing. I was like, leave him the fuck alone. And the guy jumped on top of me, and he took a lit cigarette. And he held it like not like a quarter inch from my eye. Like ashes were fun. He was like, I'll burn your fucking eye out with this thing if you don't <laughs> shut the fuck up. This was another Cub This scout? was another Cub Scout? It was a Boy Scout. It's not Boy Cub Scout. Scout. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. I thought you guys were like brothers and shit. Brothers in arms. Why would the fuck? So did I. I. Yeah, I was <laughs> disturbed to find out that I wasn't. So that that was uh, the like the, root, the memorable time that I almost shit my did pants. Did you guys quit the Cub Scouts? Boy Scouts? Yeah, like how do you go back after that? <laughs> Like, <laughs> uh, I did something pretty juvenile and stupid, but after everything had calmed down, I went to sleep. Like, I, the kid who did it to me, I took his boots and sneakers, like all his clothing, and I threw it in a fucking lake. <laughs> did you make sure you threw his cigarettes in the lake, too? Uh, I didn't, no, I was, I was so fucking, uh, I, I guess I failed. I should have thought about that, because he could have put it out of my eye, but no, that was about it. <laughs> and my brother was, like, not even thankful, which is fucking a hell of a thing, because I just gave him a motorcycle last year, and he even really thanked me for it either. A lot of ingratitude going on with that. Yeah, like, yeah, no, nice motorcycle, dude. No more favors. Yeah, fuck no favors. my brother, too. Um, <laughs> you used to, I mean, if you, you were so nice to your sister, aside from the dancing, but you did, like, you actually, uh, would help me torture my brothers. You know what, Darren, if you want to come up, you can help me tell stories about Edgar, my, you know, our father. <laughs> Where is Darren? Shit like that. Darren um, Johnson to the stage. This is my brother, Darren. Sit on my lap, Darren. It's the least I can do after that hand job. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my brother, Darren. Hello. Say hello to the good people, Darren. Um, 
Walter seems to think that uh, I, I tortured you and Eric, my, my other brother Eric, who's a, a year older than him. He lives in San Francisco. Uh, as a child, would you say that's accurate or inaccurate? I would say that's highly accurate. Um, well, my other brother Eric, when he was um, a senior in high school, I was driving downtown in Highlands, and I passed by something in the middle of the street, and I didn't know what it, it was. It looked cylindrical and shit, and I just glanced down, and I was like, whoa, that's a fucking huge black dildo in the middle of the street. <laughs> and it was big. It was, like, it was like one of those big, thick ones, like this long, and like veins and shit running through it. Not Stop. your usual roadkill? No, no. <laughs> so I did what anybody would do. I picked it up. Brought it with o- me. Only you would fucking stop and pick up a random black dildo. <laughs> There's not a paper towel thick enough in the fucking <laughs> oh, <no>. world. <laughs> I go, I'd, I'd, go on, I'd go on Amazon and order a hazmat suit before I picked up that fucking dildo. <laughs> I knew it was going to be useful, though. I knew, I knew that eventually we were gonna, it was going to come in handy. And it did because um, my brother, like I said, he st- was still in high school. So one, one day before he, he left for school, I put it in his... Backpack. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when he got to school, he opens up his backpack, and I, I, obviously he doesn't know what's in there, and it fell out onto the floor <laughs> in front of everybody. <laughs> and he tries to, he, just, like, he has no idea what the fuck's going on, and somebody who's like, this girl, Nicole, that he knows, goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> And it became such a thing that the uh, disciplinarian, I can't remember his name, was Ebersol or Eberhart or some Eberhard. shit like that. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he brings Eric to the, to the office and demands to know why he's strapped with a fucking black dildo, you know, <laughs> a big black dildo. And um, I get the call from the disciplinarian. He's like, I'm looking for Brian Johnson. How old are you at this point? Uh, if he was a senior, I was you're, probably... You're definitely an adult. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah. been, I would have been like 26. Nine, you got nine years on him. Yeah, so at the time, yeah, I would have So been an like, almost 30-year-old man has to go into a fucking... <laughs> I was still being called to the office at 26, 27 years old. But yeah, he calls, and I said, this is Brian. And he said, uh, we need to t- I need to talk to you about something involving your brother, Eric. Uh, he had a sex device with him today. <laughs> And, like, all of a sudden, I was like, I bet she's talking about that big black dildo I put in his backpack. It's a, it's a good bet. But I, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't want to fucking, you know, show him my hand, so I was like, really, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I actually had to go up there and take the black dildo back <laughs> from the dude and explain to him that it, it wasn't my It was brother's, just a joke? That it was, he, he a, it was an it was insanely just a joke. funny joke. <laughs> What's that? He accepted your explanation that it was just a funny joke? He accepted it, but not with good grace and not like, oh, you card, someday you'll be in Dallas performing. <laughs> he, he, was, he was pretty pissed, but that was the... Uh, he the, sounds uptight. Yeah. I was like, take a joke, douchebag. Um... But you told me, Darren uh, mentioned earlier today that, and I had no recollection of this, and neither did you, that you used to draw uh, comic, comics, strips. comic strips about my brothers and them being gay and them having... <laughs> oh, them and having, you. I mean, <laughs> granted, we're it was like... Even, it was, I don't it was, he it was, wasn't 27. <laughs> yeah, I was like 14, 15, 16. It wasn't like I was almost 30 being called to his fucking <laughs> his school guidance counselor to explain the comics I drew about him. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You weren't that old. But, but it, Darren said he was like, it was kind of traumatizing because it usually involved my, Darren having sex with my sister. <laughs> and and then, of course, that's the opening to the comic. It's not like, it's the very first frame. And then, and then at some point I would come in and beat Darren beyond recognition for being so gross. God, for, and God sick. forbid I'm so gross to get a blowjob by my sister. I'll get punched in the ear so he can take over. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the fact that you're you're having sexual relations no. with your sister. It was that you fucking did it behind his back? Uh, I, could, I couldn't take what was his. <laughs> um, you should put this in a special edition of the Widening Gyre. <laughs> the fucking back panel. But uh, there were there were lots of stories like that. I mean, it wasn't just him. I remember my sister one birthday. She um, like you know those pixie sticks. <laughs> Um, she had like one of those big ones. So excited! With the, to, like the candy, like sugar. It's a powdered sugar yeah. and shit. And she was probably, I guess, I don't know, eleven, which would have made me thirteen. But like, she was for some reason very excited because it was one of those really long plastic ones, and like not the little like you know 
uh, average ones. So when she was off playing with, it was her birthday, so when she was off playing with her friends and shit, I dumped the sugar out and filled it up with sand. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? What's that? How old were you? I was 27. No, I was... <laughs> no, I was probably like 13 at the time. But okay. like, that, that was back before, you know, you could videotape everything with like even your cell phone camera and shit, obviously. So I had no... But the, the look on her face is like... Because it was a build-up. She was saving it. And then she fucking cracks it open and it's like... Oh, sand on her lips and shit. <laughs> but it's like stuck to her tongue and crap. It was pretty awesome. Not so much for her, but... Did you guys ever fucking just like you, your brother, and your sister just fucking be like, all right, we're going to get this motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get our heads together. It might still be coming. <laughs> <laughs> I say he's getting weaker by, you know, with the age. So, well, you're, but how long are you going to fucking out. wait? But you know what, man? <laughs> he's a nasty They're going to sock it to me at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to paint the picture on your, uh, a dick on your face. Yeah, like going funeral. towards my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. We got him. Look at that dead faggot. It's the only time he won't be able to answer back. <laughs> What's up? This is the only time you won't be able to answer back, so. Too true, yeah.